welcome to my channel. It is 7.50 and I'm going to, it is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. By the time this goes up, it'll be well past Easter. Um, but I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. Happy Easter. We are going to visit a local church here. I found one not too far away. There are quite a few churches here. We are staying in Mandeville, um, Louisiana at the Fontainebleau State Park. This is the north campground, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. So the campground is part of the state park. Um, it's just like a portion of the state park. The state park is much bigger. But today, after church, we want to explore New Orleans since it's literally right across the lake. It's Lake Pontchartrain. And we are going to take the causeway, which there are two bridges and they are the longest bridges across water in the United States. It used to be in the world, but I believe in 2011, a bridge in China beat the world record. So this one became the longest in the world, continuous, and that one's the longest something, I don't know. But it's a very long bridge. It's, I think it's the longer of the two is, because there's one that goes that way, one that goes back. So the longer of the two, is 23 miles something like that so pretty long really excited that should be really fun and it takes you um, from Mandeville down to New Orleans so we're gonna explore New Orleans hopefully see the French Quarter not too far down there and we'd, we've never been here before so we don't really know the area too well but I believe this is near or around or in the French Quarter um, and then we're gonna go to Coterie Nola's Yeah, we gotta take a right here. Oh, this is a cute little little road floor, like floors. This is cute. A lot. Oh, God bless you. A lot quieter from where we just were. The line for the Cafe du Monde was insanely long. You see where that gentleman is standing right there near the fence? It goes all the way around and I was like, no way. We only did three hour parking, so we're not gonna make it, but um, they have beignets, I think. Just, they said it's very iconic, so it's worth the wait, but <laughs> unfortunately we're not gonna wait. And then, so lively here, it's insane. Like, so lively. So lively. You got like jazz on the corners. So much going on, so much going on. Look at this view. Oh, that's really cool. You get to see everything from here. 
Oh, cool. Look at all these locks. Wow. Sorry, my GPS going. Tons of different people. So cool. Cross right here. Yeah, that's where we have to cross. I'm telling you, we're gonna try a different cafe. This one's not as busy. We're gonna give this one a try. I just want a cup of coffee or like a latte. Pretty. Cafe Going back to our truck since we paid for three hour parking, so we parked here. I'm not sure exactly where this is, but Cafe Beignet was down there. And then they have like HM, um, Urban Outfitters, and for three hours it was $25, so kind of pricey compared to other like basic places. I'm sure the cities um, are always more expensive, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go home now and then I'll kind of share our thoughts once we're home. Hey guys, so it's been about a week now since those last clips of me filming our trip to New Orleans. We're actually at a completely new spot here in Alabama. It's like a state park, that oceanfront state park of sorts. Um, but I kind of wanted to end off the New Orleans vlog. I wasn't even going to post it because I was going through the footage and I didn't really film as much as I wanted to. There are New Orleans is just so busy. There are so many people. It's similar to New York City in a sense, which just so lively and so busy and everybody just kind of minding their own business um just walking the streets doing their own thing kind of situation you there's definitely a lot of culture to new orleans um food art music there i loved seeing um like people on the corner playing either the saxophone there was a guy playing the saxophone in front of cafe du monde there was a guy singing in front of jackson square so you definitely see a lot of like culture and music and just things like that so that was really nice but at the same time I didn't feel like like it was just so jam-packed with people that I didn't want to constantly include people in my vlog because you know privacy people want their privacy nobody wants to like be in somebody else's vlog but sometimes it's inevitable so I was a little disappointed with the footage but I wanted to take you guys along nonetheless and just kind of share our travel journey but overall it was nice to experience we only went there for three hours so keep in mind it was like our first time there only were there for probably even under three hours and with kids i wouldn't say new orleans is very kid friendly i didn't see a lot of kids i feel like it gave off more so party city vibes i feel like that's what new orleans a lot of people go there for either the mardi gras the different parades and things like that um like you can drink in the streets i think french quarter is the only place where you can't take your glassware with your drinks out in the streets there's just i was watching a video and somebody mentioned that I don't really know, I'm just like repeating what I heard. But it's not to say you can't take your kids there. Like we took them there and it was fine, you know. We tried the restaurant, it was Coterie Nola's. It was okay, my husband got the catfish. That was really good, I feel like you can't go wrong with catfish. I had a sampler of three of the most popular dishes in New Orleans. That probably, that probably wasn't the best place to try them. I feel like there are much better places, but it was just right near where we parked. It didn't seem busy, so we tried it and it was, it was cute, it was nice inside, it was, you know, pretty decent I wouldn't say it was like oh my gosh the best thing ever but it was pretty good um, and then I looked up Cafe Du Monde because supposedly that's like one of the first cafes that has a lot of history and it's just super popular it's like the OG original but when we got there it's right across the street from Jackson Square when we got there we're standing in line and somebody one of the workers comes out and he's like um, by the way this is the line for the bathrooms <laughs> Uh, we have tables inside or you can stand out with a takeout line so we're like oh my gosh this is the line for the bathroom and then I looked over at the takeout line and that line was so long it like wrapped all the way around the restaurant and went almost towards the walkway towards going up and I was like yeah we, we won't make it in time we only had parking reserved for three hours we just I don't think we would have made it so I looked up another cafe it's called Cafe Beignet and I think they have a few of them 
and that one was good it definitely i think is more so for the vibes like it has live music i absolutely loved it um, a gentleman was playing guitar with like popular songs hit songs it was just super vibey if you will definitely had the vibes going for it, it was really cute inside uh the beignets were okay they were kind of dry we actually went to mobile alabama and they had a cafe called oh my gosh i can't remember but i vlogged that as well and those beignets were a lot better than the beignets at cafe beignet so i think it's more so just for like the experience the atmosphere it's mainly for the atmosphere cafe beignet i would say i do wish we tried cafe dumont since it's so such like a popular place to go to but the the wait was just it just would have been way too long but overall you know it was a nice trip nice to experience and again we only went there for three hours and only visited the french quarter um, it was nice to see like all the different buildings and just kind of walk around a bit but so yeah, sorry, there's like a guy walking his dog probably thinks I'm like completely crazy. So I'm going to finish the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.